I'm JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com, and in this video, we're going to show you how to disable your onboard embedded video port on a PowerEdge R640 server to allow you to install a graphics card and use the graphics card as the primary video output device. Keep in mind that this concept and terminology will also work on older PowerEdge servers. For our scenario, we needed to add an HDMI output to our PowerEdge R640 server. So we added a low power consumption graphics card into one of the PCIe X16 slots. As you can see, we don't have a low profile bracket for the card, so we took the PCI bracket off for testing purposes. We were hoping that the default video output device would automatically switch to our new graphics card, but it didn't. The server was still using the onboard VGA port as the default video output device. To fix that, we are going to disable the onboard video port in the BIOS and then reboot the server to use the PCIe graphics card as the primary video output device. We're going to show you how to disable the onboard video using our PowerEdge R640 testbed. First, we'll reboot the server to enter the F2 setup in post. Keep in mind at this point, we are still using our onboard VGA port to get video. Once in the F2 setup, we'll click on System BIOS. Then we'll click on Integrated Devices. Once you get into the integrated devices, it's as simple as selecting to enable or disable the embedded video controller. In our case, we're going to disable it so that we can use our new graphics card as our default video output device. Make sure and save the changes before leaving the BIOS setup, and then you can reboot the server and start using the PCI graphics card as the default video output device. If the process in the video worked for you, please comment below and let us know what model PowerEdge server you have and what model graphics card you installed. Also, if this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel, and thank you so much for watching.